good morning good morning so out walking buttons if you guys follow my story you know that's a common thing but um, we're doing week three uh, progress on this mini cut like I've mentioned in my story um, I feel that we haven't really we actually haven't lost any true weight um, and that's probably due to my adherence where I'm at like 70% mostly on nutrition not so much anything else training's been on top of it um, cardio there is none I'm not doing any steps consistent so it's mostly the nutrition side of it with that being said adherence um, you know it's hitting the macros right and adherence also counts for um, the other things that I mentioned training steps so that's why I say 70% because mostly it's from nutrition that's a big bulk of it um, why uh, am I under a lot of stress not as much anymore um, earlier in the year when I was still prepping that was tough um, you know and I guess I should have talked more about it but I was, uh, we're going through buying a house, uh, finding out that the possibility of our daughter having Down syndrome, but then going, turning into complete bed rest. Um, so our life kind of changed. Um, so it made a huge difference in the impact on um, my, tr not my training, my nutrition, like my mentality, state of mind. Um, and a couple other factors, but those are the big two that happen. So, um, yeah, going to this mini cut, I'm not stressed per se. Like, I've gotten the handle of, like, how things are going. We're a lot closer this week. Friday will be week 34, so um, can't really complain. So why am I not being consistent? I don't know. I'm just relaxing really i'm pushing my training beyond like what i've done before knowing that okay i need a push right intensity has to be through the roof uh, as long as form is not com uh, compensated or compromised so that's one thing to keep in mind i tell my clients the same um, if they you know their diet's not on track then make it not make up for it but make sure something the other parts are it being your training regimen your step count um, if they're doing running because they're trained for something specifically make sure that's staying on track uh, but yeah so with me um, I'm doing all right so like I said better state of mind that I was couple several weeks ago um, when this all changed uh, body fat is holding on I feel like it goes up and down and sometimes like yesterday my fat was like like 53 grams uh, I just didn't feel like eating much I still ate a lot of carbs and protein but just was in the mood for the stuff I had at home as far as fat content so yeah um, if you're new to tracking, like what should you do? Um, how do you figure out your numbers? There's a lot of different ways and a lot of things you'll learn over time as far as uh, staying consistent and making sure that you hit your numbers or on track to reach your goal. You know, if you need help, you could always reach out to me. Text, email, this is my number, you could leave a comment here. But hopefully this vi videos serve as, you know, a component of someone's reality, what they go through. Like, yeah, I've been lean, leaner than maybe, at least I'd say 80% of the population. But, you know, I'm not special, I'm not genetically enhanced, I'm not genetically gifted, but... I just work my ass off, right? That's what the majority of people need. Uh, and that's the truth. So, yeah. If you guys um, have anything, 
please reach out to me. I'll be happy to, you know, give you my opinions, um, help out with any anything fitness related anyone ever has. Um, this was my passion. I love doing this stuff. And I like teaching others and having people benefit long term because that's what it's all about. All right? Well, guys, you guys have a good Monday. It is Monday. So, have fun. Later.